When we allow God to lead our lives, we can exchange our burdens for His peace. When we allow God to lead our lives, we can face challenges with confidence and faith, as with the character Jerry in this story. When we allow God to lead our lives, we walk in purpose, guided by His Spirit, who helps us to live a life that honors God. God directs our steps towards a life for His plans and purpose for us, that will give us a glorious end. Come with us as we enter part 3 of this 5-part mini-series. Those you trust may betray you, but not your Heavenly Father, whose love is real, whose promise is true, and whose grace for each day is always sufficient. Now, let's get to the story. Is, is that not Lenny? I thought he told Mr. Nicholas that he was not feeling well and had to go home. So what is he doing with that girl, she seemed quite familiar. Why is he hugging someone, who is so scantily dressed? Something is very strange. If I did not know better, that he is with Miss Brenda, I would say that they are an item. I think, I will give Miss Brenda a call, I won't come out and tell her, that I saw Lenny with someone. Besides, I should have not spoken to her in that way earlier, so I will tell her that I was sorry that I did not mean any harm. The Lord will lead us to do things even when we do not realize it. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Hello Miss Brenda, it's me Denise. I just want to say that I am sorry if I offended you earlier today. I was just very shocked about what you told me about Jerry. Oh Denise, I forgot about that. Right now, I am just really concerned about Lenny. He is homesick in bed roasting with fever. I wanted to bring him some chicken soup, but he told me that his daughter is there with him and there is no need. Anyway, I will just lift him up to the Lord. I hope that he will feel better soon. I just wish that he would let me come and take care of him, but he said his daughter is taking care of all his needs. That's what he said, really. But you are his fiance, and you should be there. So he is homesick. Well, I hope he gets better soon. Bye Miss Brenda, see you tomorrow. So he lied to our boss, lied to his fiance, and I saw him with that girl that looked, very very familiar. Poor Miss Brenda, what is that man up to, and he has taken so much money from her, I think that he is using her, the sad thing is that, he has to be caught, because Miss Brenda will not believe anything negative against him. My dear Heavenly Father, I am calling upon you, in this moment, for all that took place today. Lord I present Miss Brenda before you. I know that Lenny is our colleague, and her fiancé, but Lord, I do believe that he is taking advantage of her, and she is so blind, she cannot see it. Open Miss Brenda's eyes Lord, and though it may hurt her, show her if Lenny is too timing her. Father, I know that she was harsh against Brother Jerry earlier, with some level of bitterness against him, but overall, the little I know about her, she is a very kind and good person. Father do not allow Lenny to continue to take advantage of her, if he mean her no good lord. And Father, please remember Brother Jerry in this moment, he said that he was going to go into prayer with his father, he is so strong in faith, because his trust is in you. Lord, fight this battle that the enemy has waged against him. You said vengeance belonged to you, and you will fight all the battles waged against your children, because you told them in Romans 12:19 that vengeance is your, you will repay, and in 2 Chronicles 20:15 that the battle is indeed yours. You will always fight for your own. Remember, every person going through a difficult TMES, the various types of battles today Lord. Be it known, or unknown, and fulfill your words in their lives. Expose every hidden agenda against them, even those who got into the situations because of disobedience, cause them to come back to you, with a repentant hearts, and deliver them from the traps and plans of the enemy against them, in Jesus' mighty name Amen. Well, let me be heading home. Moments later. Is that not the new boutique? I must check it out. Meanwhile. I am too ashamed to let Denise know what Lenny say to me, I will keep it to myself, for the time being and only tell it to God. As a matter of fact, let me bring all my thoughts to God now, because right now, I am so very angry at Jerry. So very angry. Lord I know that you say to forgive, 
and even to love our enemies. But right about now, it is very difficult for me to love or forgive Jerry, after what he caused between Lenny and I. I do not know if he thought that I a single woman, will leave my things to him, because I took him like a son, and he had the nerve to ask me what was his motive. It is because of him, that I am not with Lenny at this very moment, and instead of me, to be there taking care of that wonderful man, he had to trouble his daughter, because our relationship is on hold. I know that when we serve the Lord, we will come across other believers who speak evil of us or try to destroy our name. However, it is very hard to deal with people like Jerry, who is used by the devil, in spreading false stories. I know that, I rejoice earlier at him getting fired, because, I thought that he deserved it. I know that I should, leave him in your hands, but Lord I cannot help but feel good about what happened to him, because of what he did to me. Help Lenny to see who, I really am Lord, that I would not do harm to anyone, let alone my siblings. I have shown him that I am for him, so much so that, few days ago, when he asked me for more financial help, without hesitation, I gave him the $5,000 to help his daughter. I did not hesitate in sending it to him, because I know, we will be one as man and wife, before the end of this year. Despite that wicked Jerry sowing discord, and caused this temporary rift between us, I know that wonderful man have a heart for me. Heal his body, and help him to feel better about us Lord. I know that you will do it, in Jesus name Amen. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19:21. This scripture verse is a reminder that, while we may make plans, it is ultimately God's purpose that prevails. By entrusting our desires to Him, we align ourselves with His sovereign will and direction. Had Brenda listened to her pastor, and not look on her age, she would have seen that Jerry is not the one God have for her. That is why we must, surrender all our plans to God, trusting that His guidance far surpasses our own understanding, leading us towards His perfect plans, and purposes for our life. Meanwhile, how did it go, did it fit? I really love the outfit, but I could do with one size bigger. Do you have any in the back? I'm afraid not, but the one that you just tried on, I think that we are having some more shipment tomorrow, if Miss Salome was here she would have confirmed, but she had an urgent meeting. Let me give you our card, and also, I could take your number, and if it come in, I could give you a call. That would be wonderful. I really like it. I really love the pieces in this store, the buyer have great taste. That's Miss Salome, she have a great eye for fashion. Anyway, I will call you tomorrow, and I will let you know. Denise thanked the store clerk, and as she was leaving she ran into the young woman she saw with Lenny, and now that she was closer, she realized that she was the temp, that worked at her workplace, several months back. So Denise said, you are Salome, right? In the flesh, oh I remember you, you are Denise, Mr. Nicholas' secretary. Yes, very good memory, considering, it's been several months, almost a year now. I saw you earlier, and I thought that you looked familiar, now I see why you had looked familiar. Fancy that I ran into you, seeing you twice in one day. How have you been, where are you working now, did you find anything permanent? No. But there is no need, I have my own business now. You do? What kind of business? You are standing in it, this is my boutique. I was blessed with a great benefactor, who spared no expenses, and he got this business for me. Wow, congratulations, I really like the pieces you have, in fact, I am interested in an outfit, your sales clerk told me that you were getting a shipment tomorrow, she said that you may have my size in the piece, that I am interested in. Did she give you a card, or did she took your contact? She sure did, she was a great help to me. Anyway, I had a very long eventful day. I was driving by when I decided to stop, but I must say that it must have been God ordained, because, I ran into you twice in one day. Call me, and let me know if you have my size. I sure will. By the way, where did you see me earlier? I saw you coming out of the cafe, with Lenny. Oh yes, I met with him, and then I had to come quickly to relieve Alyssa. I must say, though I spent a short time at your company, 
It was one of my greatest and best experience, because I got to meet Lenny, and he changed my life. I know that he is old enough to be my father, but he treat me like a queen, and have showered so much love upon me. Can you imagine that he has been single for 20 years until he met me? I am so glad that no other woman scoop him up, and that he has been there for me. Tonight is our special night, I have a feeling that he is going to ask me to marry him. Marry him. Don't look so shocked. I do not mind his age, at first I had to test him, but he has kept his word in everything to me, and now I completely trust him. He even show me a photo of his daughter, she is about my age, but that does not bother me. I do believe that love knows no age. I must say, I really love him, and just as he will do anything for me, I will do anything for him. It started out like he was a sugar daddy, because he showered me with gifts and money before he ever touched me, and so it made me develop a great trust in him, so I will stand by him, just like he stood by me, and he changed my life. That's nice, once again, congratulations. Call me if you get my size in. And I will come and I'll pick it up after work tomorrow. Okay then, see you tomorrow after work, I will be here. Moments later. So Lenny has gotten himself two fiances, I think that he is using Miss Brenda, because he told her that he was sick, while he was with Salome, he met her at our work, and got involved with her, right under Miss Brenda's nose. I think that I am going to call Jerry and tell him about it. I cannot say a word to Miss Brenda, because, she will defend Lenny to the death, no one can say one bad word about him to her. As soon as I get home, I will call Jerry. Few hours later. Good to see you my friend, you sounded urgent. It is, I want you to investigate one of my employees, I should have done this earlier, but I was just too upset after what I thought Jerry did. Jerry. What did he do? Are you guys not like brothers? Well, I do not think that he is feeling quite brotherly now. I fired him today. Why? Nicholas told Kelvin about what he discovered about the missing money and the temps being harassed, and that this was all done by Jerry. He also told him that, Lenny who work alongside him, testify of Jerry's guilt. That all the evidences, along with the girl's reasons for leaving, confirms Jerry's guilt. My brother, I cannot see Jerry doing such things. This is the same guy that caught so much inconsistencies, and saved the company millions, upon millions of dollars. Are you sure, that you thoroughly checked the evidences, and are these girls telling the truth? What about this Lenny fellow? How do you know that he can be trusted? He has been at our company, long years before Jerry joined, long before I took over from dad after he retired, and he is a very trustable person. The only reason why, I had some kind of doubt, is that when I fired Jerry, I sent my secretary away, I did not tell anyone what I was doing, as far as they knew, Jerry is transferred to our other company. Anyway, my secretary learned from our human resource manager Miss Brenda, about what happened with Jerry. I called Lenny in earlier, because I know that they had a relationship, to ask him if he mentioned it to anyone, and he swore he did not, say a word, not even to Miss Brenda. Shortly after, he complained of not feeling well, and left early to go home. This may mean nothing, but I cannot shake an uneasy feeling about Lenny. It may mean nothing, it could be that I am feeling guilty as about Jerry. But, I would like you to look into Lenny's dealings. He told me that he helped his daughter to get a small business to help herself, because she likes fashion. He said that it is doing very well, I know that over the years he may have saved up quite a bit, but still just check him out for me. Consider it done, my friend. Just send me all the pertinent information. Anyway, let's get a table. I told Tammy that I would grab a bite with you. The waitress came and took Kelvin and Nicholas to a table. As Nicholas sat down, he looked over and went into shock at what he saw. Kelvin noticed his reaction and asked him what was wrong. It's Lenny, who left work early today because he said that he was not feeling well. He is sitting with a young woman and that is not Miss Brenda, but that is not the problem, he told me that he was sick, and on the way here, I called him, and he said that his fever just broke, and he is going to get some rest. What are you saying Nicholas? That means he flat out lied to you. But why? I do not know, I really do not know. 
Lenny has been with our company, almost from the beginning, from when I was in my early teens. He is my father's age, a big grown man, as you can see. He knows me from when I was a child. I do not understand why, he would need to lie to me. Well it will be interesting what I will dig up. Maybe you should go and confront him, and ask him why he lied. No, that's not wisdom. As a matter of fact, let's go quickly, I do not want him to see us. I do not know why he lied to me so easily, and God only knows what else he did. He has been with our company for years, as I said, and he worked alongside Jerry, he knows all the ins and outs, and I do not want him to be aware of anything, just in case he may sell out our company. Let's go. If he set Jerry up, I pray he did not, but if he did, then I have to treat lightly, and then after investigation if he is guilty, I will call the authority to take him out immediately. I will tell you this, if he is guilty, I will show him no mercy. When he comes to work tomorrow, I will act natural, like nothing happened. He won't have a clue, about what we are doing, or that I saw him here tonight. Let's go, now, I will call Tammy on the way home, and I will call Lenny again from my car as well. A few minutes later. Honey, I did not bother to grab a bite with Kelvin. Can you make me something please, so I can have it when I get home? I have something to tell you, that is going to shock you. I will see you at home soon. Anyway, I have to make another call real quick. See you at home soon. That's my phone. I have to take this call. Be right back. Hello Nicholas. I'm feeling quite fine. My daughter just gave me some chicken soup. I feel almost like my old self. I most definitely will be at work tomorrow. Thanks for calling and checking on me again. I appreciate it very much. Bye Nicholas. I am in a real shock. How could he lie with such ease and so convincingly? This man is a very dangerous person. No, I must keep an eye on him. I hope Kelvin go through with the investigation very quickly. For sure, I now know that. This Lenny cannot be trusted. He is a serious liar. How did I get this lucky? She is worth all the money I spend on her. Every single penny. The waiter was just here. Are we going to order now? Yes, but before that, I have something to ask you. I know that I'm old enough to be your father, but there are no words to tell you. How much I love you Salome, would you do me the honor of marrying me? You know I was never close with my dad, and the way you treated me took care of me, and everything you told me, you came through, so I know that you will always take care of me. Yes Lenny, age is just a number to me, I will marry you, you have made me a very happy woman. Lenny start to shout so that everyone could hear, saying, she said yes, she said yes, then he said. I am so very happy, you have made me the happiest man alive, and I love you so very much. Order anything you want, money is no object. Lenny continued to celebrate with Salome. Meanwhile, I cannot believe what you are telling me Denise, you saw him with Salome, and he opened the boutique for her. To my knowledge, he does not have that kind of money, but then again, if he has been saving for years, who knows. You said that he also told Nicholas that he was not feeling well, while he was meeting with her. Then he told Miss Brenda that he is home with fever, and that his daughter was there with him, but you said that Salome said, that they are meeting for dinner. Wow. Well, from how he acted with me earlier, saying things to me that never happened, I do not know what he is capable of, I place him in the whole situation in God's hand, the Lord will he take care of it all Denise. Thank you so much for letting me know, and thank you for your prayers. I truly feel really sorry for Miss Brenda, that is why he had to lie on me to her, because he have this young girl that he really want, and not her. You know what is most disturbing, is the amount of money that he is taking from her, she even gave him a few days ago $5,000, he is using her mercilessly. If she is genuine to him, and he is using her, God is going to expose him, it will catch up to him. Never forget the art of God in Galatians 6, 7, which says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. One thing I will say Denise, I do not know when or how, but God will vindicate me. Look at how he allowed you to go into Salome's boutique, and let her tell you all about her and Lenny. My God is not sleeping Denise, he neither slumber or sleep. 
Galatians 5.25 say, Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. The Word of God encourages us to live in accordance with the Spirit, following His guidance and promptings. When we surrender to the Spirit's leading, we bear fruit that reflects God's character and love. His guidance shape our attitudes, actions and relationships in alignment with God's will. Remember what He said to us in Micah 6, 8, describing how we should walk. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. By walking with these values, we align ourselves with God's heart for justice. One man said it like this, when we leave everything in God's hands, we will see God's hands in everything. My dad already retired to bed, I cannot wait to tell him about this in the morning. Have a good night Denise, thanks again for everything. Meanwhile at Nicholas home, Nicholas honey, I do not want to say, I told you so, but I told you that you should have investigated further, I do not think that Jerry was capable of such, but you did not listen to me. Now, for all you know, all this missing money was taken by Lenny. But how was he able to go through Jerry's account, as the main accountant, only I or dad can never write his sign-in, something just does not add up. He would have to use Jerry's sign-in. It all points back to Jerry. Anyway, Kelvin will be digging and looking into things, we should have some information, and arrive at the truth of the matter, very soon. The only thing, I know for sure is that he blatantly lied to me more than one time today, because when I left the restaurant with Kelvin, I called him, after I called you, and he said that, his daughter just gave him chicken soup, while I know that I left him at the restaurant. Nicholas, if he can lie so easily, more than one time, who knows what else he is capable of? Well, let us just wait and see what Kelvin finds out. Bye and thank you for watching, it is our prayer that this series is being a blessing to you. We would like to thank you for your continual support of our channel. If you're new to our channel, we pray that stopping by was a blessing to you, and so you have decided to subscribe, like and share. To our faithful returning subscribers, we would like to thank you sincerely for your continual faithful support of our channel. We pray that God will grant each and every one of you the desires of your hearts. Once again, we pray that our videos are making a difference into your life. See you soon in the next one. Have a wonderful day.